Quick look outside. Beautiful day, my goodness. We have plenty of blue sky ahead, plenty of heat as well. Let me get you ready for your day coming up. That's coming next. Plus, a warning about the risks for vegetation fires as the temperatures continue to rise. And firefighters in Yakima are making sure they're prepared for wildfire season, hoping a few changes from last year will help them to respond faster. Good Morning Northwest continues right now. From Cap KP Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. And I'm Jason Valentine. Welcome to Tuesday. We're moving along in the week. Yes. We're moving along. And we've been talking a lot about wildfires and brush yes. fires, and we've had so much heat lately. We've had a lot of heat and drying conditions. That's probably good news. We're going to see a little bit of precipitation Excellent. likely this week. And really, the wildfires, uh, we're not really in that season. We're getting into the we're season. Close. But Canada <laughs> has been suffering. Yes from it for months and we've been really fortunate that most of the smoke has been going to mm -hmm. the east and that continues today. Let's take a look outside. Beautiful day today. Plenty of sunshine and it is going to be another sparkler. Hope you're ready for that and hope you're ready for the heat. Make sure you hydrate and get that sunscreen on today because it's going to be a scorcher even hotter tomorrow. We're going to be in the mid to upper 90s for most of our areas for your Wednesday, but then that cool down starts as we get to Thursday and really in earnest by the time we get to Friday. So mid to lower 90s today, winds 10 mile per hour at times to light, so nothing to really worry about there. We have a slight chance of a quick showerlet or two as we get into tomorrow, but better chance will be Thursday afternoon into Friday morning. So some sunshine will be mixed in there as well. So hot into Thursday cooling on Friday and rain incoming. We'll have that in that's coming up in my first alert weather forecast. We have a lot to get you prepared for, especially a look at your weekend as we cool down quite a bit and then well warm back up. Uh, that's coming up. But for right now, let's send it back to Jill. Thank you, Jason. Scary moments for some Pasco homeowners yesterday afternoon after a vegetation fire broke out. This all happened off of Court Street and Road 92. Crews worked quickly to ensure the flames didn't reach any houses or structures. Officials say a nearby resident was mowing his lawn and parked the mower on some dry grass, which sparked the fire. Pasco Fire Deputy Chief Ed Dunbar says as the temperatures rise, we'll start to see similar situations across the region. First part of June, this is about when we start ramping up. We get all of our wildland training done by May 31st, so we go into June kind of ramp up during June before we're ready for the 4th of July and summer all the way through the beginning of October. Deputy Chief Dunbar says situations like this are a reminder to exercise caution when doing lawn care in the heat. A Franklin PUD line was affected by the fire, but no homes were damaged. And that fire is evidence of the hot and dry conditions in our region right now. The National Weather Service sent out a warning about current conditions and the wildfire risk. The agency says please responsibly and safely get rid of cigarette butts and be sure to mind field equipment, vehicle chains or anything else that could potentially ignite grass or timber. For firefighters at the Yakima Training Center, summer is the busiest time of year as they deal with their own brush fires and mutual aid calls. Cap KVU's Emily Goodell spoke to the fire chief at the training center who says this year new changes should help them respond quicker. When it's an emergency, seconds matter. <coughs> Yakima Training Center fire officials say their previous dispatch system cost them extra seconds. The systems were antiquated, so sometimes our calls would have to go to go through two or three call takers before it ever got to us. When it did, a police officer picked up the call instead of a trained dispatcher. They didn't have the updated CAD system, so times weren't always accurate. Locations we were going wouldn't always be accurate. The biggest thing was we weren't meeting requirements. That's why they're switching over to the city of Yakima's 911 dispatch system. It's a intergovernmental service agreement that we're entering in with SUNCOM. It's uh, good for 10 years. It gets renewed every year. <laughs> response should greatly reduce our response times. It's the latest in the series of improvements for the fire department, like a brand new radio system. It should fill a lot of the, the dead spaces that we had downrange um, is going to be the biggest thing. We should have a lot more coverage. Plus, it's out with the old fire station and our previous fire station was uh, just under 6,000 square feet. We were in three previous buildings um, to house all our apparatus and administrative. In with the new. The new fire station is about 30,000 square feet and we're now under one roof. Fire officials say not only is the new
new building bigger and better, but it's also making the firefighters happier. Morale improved drastically. Um, before, like I said, we had uh, anywhere from 9 to 11 people crammed into a small little building. The kitchen, training room, day room was all one room, where now we have all those individual spaces. Um, you know, our firefighters work 48-hour shifts. It's now easier for families to come out and, and visit and relax with them. Fire officials say they believe having the new station, radios, and switching to the city's dispatch system will also improve recruitment and retention, all the while helping them keep the training center safe. Reporting, Emily Goodell, Cap View, Local News. Fire officials say they want people to know when they start hearing more scanner traffic about the training center later this month. It's not an increase in calls, it's that they're now on the city's dispatch. Authorities are investigating the case of a teenage boy found dead over the weekend in Toppenish as a homicide. According to 911 call records, the Yakima County Sheriff's Office was dispatched just after 1.30 a.m. Sunday to a homicide on South Alder Street. Yakima County Coroner Jim Curtis says someone discovered the body of a teenage boy in the area and that the boy's injuries indicated he likely died from homicidal violence. He's been identified. We're just giving family um, opportunity to notify his distant family before we release his name. We'll release more later after the autopsy. Curtis says he's in communication with the forensic pathologist about the autopsy, which they hope to do today or tomorrow. An important message this morning aimed at protecting the public and environment. Today, several Washington state agencies will mark National Secure Your Load Day. According to the Department of Ecology, unsecured loads result in 300 crashes and 30 injuries each year. Officials remind drivers that the law requires items carried by a vehicle to be properly strapped down. The state patrol is also conducting emphasis patrols for three weekends between June 9th and the 25th and stopping and citing drivers with cargo that's not properly secured. A study last year found that 40% of litter comes from cargo that's not properly secured. The Departments of Ecology and Transportation spend a combined $12 million a year to clean state highways and roads. A new stretch of US-12 in Walla Walla County is now open for drivers, and this means drivers have a four-lane highway from the eastern outskirts of Walla Walla all the way to Nine Mile Hill, which is just west of Tushi. This does mean you'll have to exit the highway if you want to get to Tushi or Loudoun. It also shaves a few minutes off the drive between Walla Walla and Tri-Cities. The Karate Center of Walla Walla is sending some martial artists to represent the U.S. in a World Tournament Championship in Scotland. This is for the 11th WUKF World Karate Championships. Cap KV's Riley Fitzgerald joins us live from Walla Walla. Riley, how can the community support their local athletes? Well, good morning, everyone. We are live here in Walla Walla. This dojo is doing something pretty awesome. You're sending four martial artist to a world championship tournament in Scotland and they've been warming up the athletes right behind us and they're looking pretty great. I'm here with Sense, uh, Sensei and uh, Shihan Dave Libert of the Karate Center and I've got a couple questions for you. So how did these martial artists get selected to represent the U.S. in a in a world championship? Well there's uh, three processes they go through. They have a regional championship tournament they need to participate in. Then they go to uh, Florida and there they have a national karate championship and or you can go to like Las Vegas and compete there and do a team tryout. Awesome and we've got Camden, we've got Luke, Jessica and Jamie here mm -hmm. and so they've been probably working really really hard for the last couple of months getting prepared for this yes. and um, I hear this is not just a sport, but a lifestyle, discipline, training, and everyone is putting so much work in. How can the community support martial artists from your karate center? Well, we do have uh, the ability to support the athletes. You can come down and, and uh, you can contribute uh, actually financially to the athletes as they go to Scotland. Um, that money will go right to their efforts to, to, uh, to, for their plane travel, their food, and their uniforms, etc. Mm -hmm. And so you can come right down to the karate center and, and contribute that way. Or call me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So coming up on Good Morning Northwest, we're going to be talking to one of these athletes about how they feel going into this world championship. That's coming up on Good Morning Northwest. Thank you, Riley. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. Wow, another beautiful day. What a June we've had so far. Even hotter 
and even hotter tomorrow, but we've got to cool down on the way as well. Of your forecast, that's coming right up. Plus, technology titan Apple has unveiled its most ambitious product yet that could change the way we use our computers. An accident can shatter your life. At Tamaki Law, we put your life back together. When a client has been seriously hurt, they need a lot of help. We understand that. Their only job is to get better. Our job is to take care of the rest. That's why we work hard and fight for the justice they deserve. If you've been seriously injured, call Tamaki Law and get your life back. Pure Filtration Products is your Inland Northwest air quality specialist. We offer filtration products for all your commercial, industrial, and manufacturing needs. From cooling towers to industrial dust collection systems, commercial buildings, schools, hospitals, or manufacturing facilities, we have you covered. Call today and schedule your free facility site evaluation. We'll send a certified air filter specialist to your site to evaluate your filter requirements. Call or click today. Pure Filtration Products. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. See big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more with a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade, all with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. Not the same old party when you reserve the action at Power Up Arcade. Signature cocktails and 18 taps of cold beer. And food from Proof Gastro Pub right next door. Bring your quarters and prepare for battle. Make your escape to the Power Up Arcade. Whether you're looking to add a splash of color to your home, planting your very own vegetable garden, or expanding your dream landscape, Queens Gate Gardens is the place to go this summer. Queens Gate Gardens in Richland. Let's grow together. At Good Shepherd, it is not just a job. It is our mission. A mission to improve the health of our community. To give you our hearts, our minds, our compassion. The best technology available and the greatest medicine of all, kindness. Thank you for trusting us with your care. Smoke City for Less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Welcome back at 612 on this Tuesday morning. Now to an ABC News exclusive with Tim Cook. Robin Roberts sat down with the CEO of Apple after the company held its most significant product launch since, well, the iPhone. ABC's Andrea Fujii has the details. This morning, Apple celebrating what's being called the company's biggest product launch in years. It's the first Apple product you look through and not at. Apple unveiling the Vision Pro, a new virtual and augmented headset, calling it their most ambitious product yet. The company betting big that VR is more than just a fad. GMA's Robin Roberts sitting down exclusively with Apple CEO Tim Cook. You can see hear and interact with digital content right in your physical space. And this is a huge idea. And so you can use your apps, and they can be any size that you want. You can immerse yourself in movies, TV shows, sports, and feel like you're right there. Apple now jumping into a space that Facebook parent company Meta has tried to conquer with its line of Oculus headsets and the Metaverse. But the Metaverse has created little fanfare and sales for Oculus products have underperformed. With Vision Pro, Apple is offering higher end components, better build quality and more features including the ability to record and play back 3D images and video. If you purchased a new state-of-the-art TV, surround sound system, powerful computer with multiple high-definition displays, high-end camera, and more, you still would not have come close to what Vision Pro delivers. But all that technology comes with a price. The headset starts at $3,500, more than triple what the most expensive headset from Meta costs. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York. And Apple says the Vision Pro will launch early next year. 
Coming up, new questions have emerged surrounding the deadly plane crash in Virginia, as well as the identities of the passengers on board. And folks, I'll return with your first alert weather forecast. I'll get you ready for this Tuesday. It's going to be a hot one. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. For over 600 different premium cigars, including every cigar rated 95 and higher in the last decade, it's the Educated Cigar. For 115 different fine pipe tobaccos and 55 different briarwood pipes from England, Germany, and Italy, it's the Educated Cigar. For 95 and higher rated wines and White Bluff IPAs, it's the Educated Cigar in Richland. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Dykin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Now is the time for a new bath from Bathfitter. Every Bathfitter bath is installed quickly, safely, and beautifully with a lifetime warranty. Go from old to new, from worn to wow. The beautiful bath you've always wanted, done right, installed by one expert technician, all in one day. We've been creating moments like these for 35 years, and we're here to help you get started. Book your free virtual or in-home design consultation today. Save now with Bymart's latest membership savings book, arriving exclusively in members' mailboxes this week. Our 16-page book has store-wide savings in every department. Enjoy your spring and summer on the patio for less. Bymart has you covered. Plus, find great savings in sporting goods, pet supplies, and pantry essentials. Bymart saves you more. Save now with our latest savings book at Bymart, your employee-owned membership store. When playing golf at the Coeur d'Alene Resort, every player looks forward to the 14th hole. It's an intimidating hole, there's no question. At the same time, it's, it's actually a fairly big green. Fly the Northwest over a floating green. Cap TV Local News at 6 tonight. We had an incident. Fire department came. What did you do, Mark? That's very funny. <laughs> Next live, Natasha Leone plus Riverdale's Machen Amick. Today at 9 on Cap KVU. Tri-Q Credit Union C3 Slam comes to Richland July 8th and 9th at John Dam Plaza. Now, Cap Cave View First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Tuesday, everyone. Hope you're enjoying your morning so far. More sunshine. We have been just blessed for the past week and a half of just plenty of sunshine in the morning hours and really for our entire day. So we could see a little bit of shower activity and cloud coverage coming in as we move along in our week, but that makes sense as we really warm up into tomorrow and then we start to cool down and we're going to see big changes on the way. So right now we're in the mid to upper 50s for many of our areas, even the 60s for Toppenish and Hanford. 44 though for Ellensburg, so a little bit cooler there, but we're going to be having a warm day throughout our areas. We're at 44 right now for Ellensburg, double that. That's what the high is going to be today. So as we move into today, we're going to be slightly warmer than yesterday, and then for all of our areas, mid to upper 90s into tomorrow. Then we're going to see that big cool down start Thursday and continue into our weekend. But still, folks, we're going to be pretty well above our average for this time of year for our highs throughout all of our areas. So just get ready for a very warm week ahead, though we're going to hit an apex as we get to tomorrow. So for our future cast, let's take a look at what we can expect in our skies. Plenty of clear skies as we head into our Tuesday, pretty much for the entire day. A little bit of cloud coverage coming in for your Wednesday morning, and we do have a little bits and pieces of shower activity possible coming in Wednesday evening. Better chance is when we get into Thursday, late morning, early afternoon. We have some shower activity that could be starting to form throughout our areas. And then that will be moving into kind of off and on showers into Thursday evening into Friday morning. We're keeping a very close eye on that. We do expect some shower activity to come into the area. So a bit of a change. We haven't seen precipitation for some time. So we're seeing pretty much exactly the winds we were expecting around 10 mile per hour to light, a little heavier 
in Hanford. So a little bit of breeze at times for pretty much the week ahead. But other than that, we're going to be looking at pretty calm conditions. Still a little bit of breeze here or there for the week ahead. Allergy forecast not too bad. Only tree pollen up to the moderate zone. Other than that, we're looking pretty good allergy wise. So uh, in our air quality is staying good as well. So here's our highs for today. A little warmer than yesterday. Lower 90s for Yakima. Top in the area is 88, as I said, for Ellensburg, double to what we are right now. As we move into the mid-Columbia, mid to lower 90s, and in the Blue Mountain region, we're in those, well, mid to lower 90s. And we're just going to be staying warm, especially into tomorrow. So for Yakima, 92 today, 97 tomorrow. Then we could see some shower activity come in Thursday afternoon into Friday morning. That big drop from Wednesday to Friday, 17 degrees. Staying cool for your Friday and Saturday, then we start to warm back up for your Sunday into our next work week. Overnight lows, upper 50s, mid to lower 60s. In the Tri-Cities area, up to 99 tomorrow. We could see a triple digit or two in our cities. And then that big drop off as well. PM showers possible Thursday into Friday morning. And looking very calm overnight, though, pretty much in those mid-60s. But folks, for your Tuesday, for today, plenty of sunshine, mostly light winds, maybe breeze or two. And we're going to be looking at those highs, mid to lower 90s. Should be a nice and hot Tuesday ahead. I hope you enjoy. Now to the latest on the sonic boom scare over Washington, D.C. and new questions about the deadly plane crash connected to the incident. Now officials say pilot, uh, the pilot of the doomed plane was unresponsive for more than an hour before fighter jets were sent. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the details. This morning, investigators are working deep in the Virginia wilderness, a three-hour hike from the nearest road where the Cessna Citation jet crashed on Sunday. It's already a challenging process, and it makes it that much more challenging for us. The jet took off from Tennessee at around 1.15 Sunday afternoon, headed to New York's Long Island. Less than 15 minutes after takeoff, the veteran pilot was no longer responding to air traffic controllers. The plane reaching Long Island, but then turning around, flying over New York and D.C. airspace. It would take 90 minutes before the military launched F-16s, one of them breaking the sound barrier, causing a sonic boom. Why did it take so long to get these other aircraft scrambled and in the air, the F-16s? That's going to be one of the key questions here to be answered. Those fighter jets catching up to the plane, firing flares and issuing warnings by radio. The fighter pilots say they could see the pilot slumped over. The NTSB is considering whether a sudden loss of cabin pressure could have incapacitated all of those on board. But with the force of the crash decimating the plane, figuring out exactly what happened may prove difficult. Fragmentation of the wreckage is going to prevent the NTSB from getting a definitive answer on what might have gone wrong with the pressurization system. In addition to the pilot and nanny, Adina Azarian, a New York real estate agent, and her two-year-old daughter, Aria, died in the crash. They were just such a wonderful, close-knit little family. I mean, they were really such a bright spot in the neighborhood. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. Investigators will be at the crash site for a few more days before wreckage is likely airlifted to another location. They have not found a black box, but this type of plane was not required to have one. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, you may be feeling a bit of a pinch at the pump in the next few months as OPEC announces further production cuts. Hey, check out the new Oreo Brookie Blizzard at DQ. Oreo pieces, brownie, and cookie. This treat is doing the most, which makes it the perfect treat for when you're doing, well, the least. Oh, this is nice. Oh, come on! Play neighbor! We were enjoying a moment with the Oreo Brookie Blizzard. Okay, okay, this is more like it. Enjoy your Oreo Brookie Blizzard moment today. Only at DQ. Happy tastes good. Shelter out here, it's the most important thing. But the good thing is, my Ford F-150 provides enough power to keep working. Get a great deal on an F-150, only at your local Ford dealer.
Smoke City for Less is your one-stop shop in Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and Hermiston. Every location is conveniently located. And now, Smoke City for Less Hermiston has relocated to North First Street by AutoZone. An easy turnoff, $3.95 and you are there. For the lowest prices and largest selection of vape mods, the best batteries, tobacco products, Kratom, and specialty products too. Open seven days a week. Five locations, Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and the new location in Hermiston. Off $3.95. Smoke City for Less. We smoke the competition. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and replace it with the product so good you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the heat and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. Since 1968, Sundown M Ranch has helped over 200,000 patients and families recover from the effects of substance use disorders. I was ashamed, humiliated, and not sure if I could be helped, but I listened and found a completely different way to live by spending time at Sundown. I did not believe there was a way out of the dark hole my life had become. Sundown M Ranch provided a foundation for me to find a new way to live. Sundown M Ranch. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. That sound. Wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves! Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer. Only at your local Ford dealer. Portion of Cap KB sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Gas prices could rise slightly soon. Saudi Arabia says it will cut 1 million barrels of oil a day for at least a month starting in July. That has U.S. gas futures ticking up and some experts predicting a small increase at the pump. Saudi Arabia is going it alone with the deeper cuts to balance its budget. But OPEC Plus is making news of its own. The BBC reports it's extending the oil reductions it announced in April through next year. It cites the Russian deputy prime minister speaking after the group's Sunday meeting. On paper, those cuts are one and two thirds barrels per day, although the real world reductions might be less severe. OPEC Plus controls about 40 percent of the world's oil reserves. It includes the original OPEC members in addition to Russia and several other nations. The head of the Department of Energy unveiled an ambitious plan yesterday to use hydrogen as an alternative so energy source. Advocates say it would reduce carbon because hydrogen emissions just bind with oxygen and turn into water. You can also make hydrogen fuel from water or from fossil fuels. And opponents are concerned that we might focus too much on using those fossil fuels to make hydrogen fuel instead of relying on water. We'll learn more about this proposal coming up in the fall. Coming up, the campaign trail is starting to get a little more crowded as more Republican candidates emerge. A new roof looks great. A new roof with new gutters looks amazing. With Aero Roofing, amazing is now more affordable than ever. Get 25% off gutters with your new re-roof. Did we mention our 50-year roof warranty at no extra cost? Don't miss this limited time offer. Give Aero Roofing a call today. Homeowners, Washington is moving to renewable power. Consider an investment in green energy. Rooftop solar with Solar Power Northwest, a true one-stop shop. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. Tonight, celebrate Pride. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. And with the exclusive network interview with Elliot Page. I'm feeling that joy every day. I really am. Tonight at 10, 9 central on ABC. She's forecasted local weather for three years, and now she's part of the Cap Give You First Alert weather team. Join me each evening at 5, 6, and 6.30 on Cap Cave View Local News. Stacy Lee, Cap Give You First Alert weather. Watch weeknights. Plan your next getaway with a new escape from Corwin Ford. Choose from options to fit your style, including turbocharged EcoBoost, hybrid, and plug-in hybrid models. Right now, enjoy 0% financing for 36 months, plus no charge maintenance for three years on all 2023 Ford Escape models. That's three years of tire rotations, engine oil, filter changes, and more. Plan your summer escape in a new Ford. Corwin Ford, family driven for over 100 years. Watch me. Watch my first step turn to leaps and bounds. 
Watch me play carefree while the world goes round. Listen to me join in with every girl and boy. Screams of happiness, limitless joy. Watch me run through the grass and sand. They said I would, now I can. Watch me. Shriners Children's, the most amazing care anywhere. For over 600 different premium cigars, including every cigar rated 95 and higher in the last decade, it's the Educated Cigar. For 115 different fine pipe tobaccos and 55 different briarwood pipes from England, Germany, and Italy, it's the Educated Cigar. For 95 and higher rated wines and White Bluff IPAs, it's the Educated Cigar in Richland. Pasco Parks and Rec invites you to join in and get involved. They offer a variety of summer classes and programs for all ages, preschool to adult and everyone in between. There's a class, event, or program this summer just for you. Register, reserve, or inquire today. Join all the special events Pasco Parks and Recreation has to offer all summer long. Learn more at pascoparksandrec.com. Get fit, have fun, do more with Pasco Parks and Rec. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. More Republican challengers emerge as politicians announce their intentions to take on former President Donald Trump. And attorneys for former President Trump met with Department of Justice officials yesterday to discuss the special counsel's probe into Trump's handling of classified documents. And folks, the heat keeps building this week. I'll get you prepared for more of that heat and well, that eventual cool down on the way in my first alert weather forecast. From Camp KVU Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. And I'm Jason Valentine. Welcome to Tuesday. Good morning, Jill. Good morning, Jason. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got outside and enjoyed some of that sunshine yesterday. Oh, good. I'm getting a little uh, little color for the oh. first time in a while, so looking forward to more of that today. Excellent. But uh, maybe stay indoors tomorrow as we get close to triple digits in the Tri-Cities. Yes, so I think I will. <laughs> the, the heat will be on. Let's take a look outside at our lovely Giza Stadium sky cam and just perfect sunshine this morning. Plenty of blue skies. The birds are out and about having a good time. We're going to be looking at more beauty as we move along in our day. So we're a couple of degrees warmer than we were yesterday. We were hovering upper 80s, lower 90s yesterday. We're in the mid to lower 90s for most of our areas today. As we expect ample sunshine, winds breezy at times, still 10 mile per hour to light and staying dry. We have a slight chance of a little showerlet or two as we get into tomorrow as we see those hot temperatures come in, but better chance so when we slowly start to cool down Thursday, we especially cool down by Friday with a little bit of shower activity Thursday afternoon into Friday morning. So we're going to keep an eye on that. So hot into Thursday, cooling Friday and rain incoming. All of that in my first alert weather forecast. Can't wait to tell you about it. That's coming up. But for right now, let's send it back to Jill. Thank you, Jason. Now to the race for the White House and the expanding number of Republican candidates. Former Vice President Mike Pence is officially running and Chris Christie is expected to jump in the race later today. Meanwhile, lawyers for frontrunner Donald Trump were spotted at the Department of Justice, a sign the special counsel investigation may be wrapping up. ABC's Lindsay Watts has the latest. This morning, Mike Pence is taking on his former boss, filing paperwork to declare his 2024 campaign for president. Most people know me as vice president, as a loyal lieutenant uh, standing beside the president. I'm proud of the record that we created in the Trump-Pence administration, but I was also a governor. Another former governor will soon join him in the race. New Jersey's Chris Christie, a former ABC News contributor, is set to make his own announcement today in New Hampshire. Both men joining a crowded field that includes Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, and South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Nearly every GOP candidate was in Iowa this weekend, though notably absent, Republican frontrunner and former President Donald Trump. Trump making his third run for the White House as the investigation into his handling of classified documents appears to be winding down. Trump's attorneys met with officials at the Department of Justice on Monday. 
Sources say special counsel Jack Smith attended the nearly two-hour-long meeting as Trump's lawyers tried to make the case that he should not be charged for mishandling hundreds of classified documents. Did you get what you wanted? Did you get a meeting with the attorney? Uh, we don't have any comment. Federal prosecutors suspect Trump illegally retained classified material and may have obstructed justice when the government tried to recover documents from Mar-a-Lago. Trump responding on social media, clearly worried he could be indicted, asking how he could possibly be charged when he, quote, did nothing wrong. Some believe the crowded Republican field may ultimately help Trump win. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu has announced he won't be running for president and warns that candidates with no path to victory must have the discipline to get out. Attorneys for former President Donald Trump met with Justice Department officials yesterday about the special counsel's probe. Sources familiar with the matter say it was to discuss allegations of prosecutorial misconduct from Trump's legal team in the classified documents investigation. The lawyers wrote to Attorney General Merrick Garland last month to request the discussion. Special counsel Jack Smith is looking into whether Trump broke any laws in retaining documents marked classified after his presidency. A grand jury is set to hear from another witness in the case this week, according to a source. That's its first known action in about a month as the probe potentially enters its final stages. Court documents show the FBI recovered 11 sets of classified documents from Trump's Mar-a-Lago, Florida home in August. The special counsel's investigation is separate from the one in New York that resulted in 34 felony criminal charges against Trump. Those involve an alleged hush money scheme ahead of the 2016 election. Trump denies those allegations and has pleaded not guilty. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. Folks, blue sky, light winds, and heat. It happens yet again today. And we're going to see more of that tomorrow. But changes on the way, maybe some showers as well. I'll get you ready. My first alert weather forecast coming right up. Plus, SpaceX initiated a successful launch yesterday on a delivery mission to the International Space Station. But there were more than just a few freeze-dried meals on their way to space. Matt Frazier. America's top psychic medium. Whether you're looking to add a splash of color to your home, planting your very own vegetable garden, or expanding your dream landscape, Queens Gate Gardens is the place to go this summer. Queens Gate Gardens in Richland, let's grow together. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. See big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more with a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade, all with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. When you or your loved one has been seriously injured, you want the best law firm on your side. Abeta Nelson Injury Law is the most highly awarded and experienced personal injury firm in Central Washington. Our office has secured the most million dollar car crash recoveries in Central Washington. You can trust us to have your back. The time for bringing your claim is limited, so don't wait. Call us today for a no obligation consultation. Abeta Nelson, we take your injury personally. Save now with Bymart's latest savings book, arriving in members' mailboxes this week. It's 16 pages of great store-wide savings, including everything you need in lawn and garden supplies, sporting goods, and more. At Bymart, our members get more value every day. Our phones keep us constantly connected. Can you switch to airplane mode? But what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? Introducing what Us Mode, a mode that makes our phones less distracting, so we can focus on quality time. Moments. So the notifications we get are the ones that matter. So we're never distracted from what's most important. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online to set up us mode for free, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the heat and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and Replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. 
When playing golf at the Coeur d'Alene Resort, every player looks forward to the 14th hole. It's an intimidating hole, there's no question. At the same time, it's, it's actually a fairly big green. Fly the Northwest over a floating green. Cap TV Local News at 6 tonight. We had an incident. Fire department came. What did you do, Mark? That's very funny. <laughs> Next live, Natasha Leon plus Riverdale's Machen Amick. Today at 9 on Cap KVU. Well, a delivery of supplies and experiments is on the way to the International Space Station. A SpaceX rocket lifted off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida Monday morning. The Dragon spacecraft is expected to dock with the space station, well, today. <laughs> Among the cargo on board is a set of solar panels which will be installed in a series of spacewalks. Several experiments are also being delivered, including a student-led study on DNA, which could lead to treatments to combat the aging process. Plus, six cube sats, or tiny satellites, are headed to the ISS for a cybersecurity challenge backed by the Air Force and the Space Force. A group of professionals will try to hack the cube sat while it's in orbit. Fascinating stuff. I can imagine for those astronauts, I'm pretty sure there's still a cosmonaut on board as well. Oh, yeah. Is you really got to be waiting for that uh, supply ship. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yes. You want to get your, your meals. Yes. <laughs> have you ever had the astronaut food, like the freeze-dried food? Have you? I've tried a, an ice cream before. Okay, how I was it? I liked it. All yeah, right. It was good. Is it like camping? The Yeah, the, essentially, the, the, like yeah, the yeah. dehydrated camping yeah. food. Yeah, a lot of salt. Ooh, yes. A lot of salt. <laughs> All right, folks, quick look outside. I got your first alert weather forecast. Sunny and heat will continue. Conditions will continue. That's coming up next. And we'll check in one final time with Riley Fitzgerald in Walla Walla as the Walla Walla Karate Center prepares to send a few students to the World Championships. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. You know when you're behind the wheel, be it in an airplane, car, or boat, you take on certain responsibility for yourself and for the other guy. So even when you're enjoying yourself this summer, keep safety and responsibility in mind. Pasco Parks and Rec invites you to join in and get involved. They offer a variety of summer classes and programs for all ages, preschool to adult and everyone in between. There's a class, event, or program this summer just for you. Register, reserve, or inquire today. Join all the special events Pasco Parks and Recreation has to offer all summer long. Learn more at PascoParksandRec.com. Get fit, have fun, do more with Pasco Parks and Rec. Shelter out here, it's the most important thing. But the good thing is my Ford F-150 provides enough power to keep working. Get a great deal on an F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. Pure Filtration Products is your Inland Northwest air quality specialist. We offer filtration products for all your commercial, industrial, and manufacturing needs. From cooling towers to industrial dust collection systems, commercial buildings, schools, hospitals, or manufacturing facilities, we have you covered. Call today and schedule your free facility site evaluation. We'll send a certified air filter specialist to your site to evaluate your filter requirements. Call or click today. Pure Filtration Products. For over 600 different premium cigars, including every cigar rated 95 and higher in the last decade. It's the Educated Cigar. For 115 different fine pipe tobaccos and 55 different briarwood pipes from England, Germany, and Italy. It's the Educated Cigar. For 95 and higher rated wines and White Bluff IPAs, it's the Educated Cigar in Richland. That sound, wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves! Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer, only at your local Ford dealer. 
You know when you're behind the wheel, be it in an airplane, car, or boat, you take on certain responsibility for yourself and for the other guy. So even when you're enjoying yourself this summer, keep safety and responsibility in mind. A portion of Cap KV is sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Now, Cap Cave View First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Tuesday, everyone. Hope you're enjoying your morning so far. Hope you had a nice Monday as well. Maybe sunglasses and sunscreen today. As we move along in the day, we have quite a lot of sunshine and heat to talk about as we're just slightly warmer than we were yesterday. So current temperatures, we are warm, especially Hanford and Toppenish, 63. We're in the 50s for most of our cities, still 47 for Ellensburg, but you're going to be warming up nicely in Ellensburg. Today, a few degrees above yesterday. We were right around the 90 degree mark for most of our cities yesterday, mid to lower 90s. Today, we're going to be in mid to upper 90s for your to, uh, Wednesday. Excuse me. Then we're going to be seeing cooling temperatures into our weekend. Still, compared to 99, a big drop, but we're still above our average for this time in June. We're still in spring, folks, and then we'll be seeing those warmer temperatures re uh, return as we get to Sunday and into our next work week. Also, we have a bit of shower activity to talk about. I haven't talked about that in a while, but this morning, free and clear, and as we move along in our day, just ample clear skies throughout. A little bit more cloud coverage for your Wednesday morning. Then a couple of showers possible coming in from the south. Very quick, though, if we do see any. But as we get to Thursday late morning, we could see some shower activity just to the southwest of our areas and then start to slowly uh, conglomerate into our areas as we get to Thursday afternoon. And these off and on showers are likely into Friday morning. So a little bit of shower activity on the way, but we've been pretty dry as of late. So a little bit of shower activity could help. We'll also keep an eye if there's any thunder and lightning intermixed with that. Winds right where we expect them to be 10 mile per hour to light and that's going to continue for the next couple of days if not in for the next seven days so no real wind events are on the way though you're going to see a little breeze at times nothing really substantial also not very substantial is our allergy forecast we do have moderate tree pollen but other than that we are looking very good in our allergens so that's very good air quality is good as well so let's take a look at our highs today we're in the lower 90s Upper 80s for Ellensburg, still staying very warm there. In the mid-Columbia, mid to lower 90s as well. And over in the Blue Mountain region, 94 for Walla Walla, 91 for Pendleton. So all of our areas besides Ellensburg in the 90s. So as we get to tomorrow, going to get up to 97 for Yakima. Again, plenty of sunshine is expected. Even when we see the shower activity possible coming in Thursday into Friday morning, we're still going to see quite a bit of clear skies intermixed with that. And those uh, nice conditions will continue as we cool down and warm back up. Overnight lows going to be in the mid to lower 60s to a couple upper 50s in there. But still, folks, a nice week ahead, a little bit of variety thrown in. But that cool down starts Thursday and really completes as we get to Friday. In the Tri-Cities area, get ready for cool conditions on the way as well. 99, though, tomorrow as we heat up and then cool down starting Thursday into the mid-80s for your weekend. Back to those 90s as we get to our next work week. So, folks, for your Tuesday, let's forget about that possibility of rain and the more heat tomorrow. Mid to lower 90s today, light winds, plenty of sunshine. A beautiful Tuesday is ahead. Hope you enjoy. The Walla Walla Karate Center is sending some martial artists to represent the USA in a World Tournament Championship in Scotland. This is for the 11th WUKF World Karate Championships. Cap KV's Riley Fitzgerald joins us live from Walla Walla. Riley, introduce us to one of those athletes. Well, good morning, everyone. This dojo is doing something pretty cool. Next month, they are sending four martial artists age 11 to 60 years old to a world tournament championship taking place in Scotland. I'm here with Camden. He's the youngest out of this dojo who is headed to Worlds next month. Camden, how are you feeling going into this? I'm a little nervous, but I feel I'm prepared. And this is your second world tournament that you've been to. How did you do it your last one? My last one, I got third in uh, sparring. Him. And you said that sparring is your favorite. Why is sparring your favorite? Mostly because it's more about speed and agility and then 
going through the moves. Yeah, yeah. And it's just more moving than staying still. So that's why it's my favorite because you got you have to move. Yeah. Awesome. And I hear it's pretty rare for the AAU to select someone younger than 12 years old to represent the U.S. How do you feel going to Scotland to represent the U.S.? Um, it nerve-wracking. Very. I'm very nervous, but. I feel like I can do it. Yeah, you got this. Congratulations for getting to go. You're going to do awesome. We've been practicing for a little bit. We've got a little demonstration for you. Thank you so much, Camden, and good luck. I'm going to set my stuff down really quick. All right. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> there you go. All right. Get up. Pull back. <laughs> and over she goes. <laughs> Live in Walla Walla with Good Morning Northwest, I'm Riley Fitzgerald. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Riley. We will be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast. But first, a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look and ABC News exclusive, Robin Roberts one-on-one -on -one with Apple CEO Tim Cook about his company's buzzy new product. Vision Pro, yeah. which you are really excited about. Just yeah. explain to folks what that is. It is the first platform that is about spatial computing. And so what does that mean? It means that you can see, hear, and interact with digital content right in your physical space. And this is a huge idea. You can immerse yourself in movies, TV shows, sports, and feel like you're right there. You can obviously collaborate and connect with people. This product is about connection. And coming up at 7 a.m., Robin will have much more of her interview. Plus, she'll be one of the first people to try out the new Apple Vision Pro. With your GMA First Look, I'm Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. I was stuck. Unresolved depression symptoms were in my way. I needed more for my antidepressant. Raylar helped give it a lift. Adding Raylar to an antidepressant is clinically proven to help relieve overall depression symptoms better than an antidepressant alone. And in Raylar clinical studies, most saw no substantial impact on weight. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke, report unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, as these may be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. High blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, weight gain, and high cholesterol may occur. Movement dysfunction and restlessness are common side effects. Stomach and sleep issues, dizziness, increased appetite, and fatigue are also common. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. I didn't have to change my treatment. I just gave it a lift. Ask about Raylar and learn how AbbVie can help you save. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now is 6.52. We're going to get to Jason's local forecast in a moment, but first a look at this morning's top stories. Some scary moments for Pasco homeowners yesterday afternoon after a vegetation fire broke out. It happened off of Court Street and Road 92. Crews worked quickly to ensure the flames didn't reach any houses or structures. Officials say a nearby resident was mowing his lawn and parked the mower on some dry grass, which sparked the fire. A Franklin PUD line was affected by the fire, but no homes were damaged. That fire is evidence of the hot and dry conditions in our region right now, and the National Weather Service sent out a warning about current conditions and the wildfire risk. The agency says be uh, please responsibly and safely get rid of cigarette butts and be sure to mind field equipment, vehicle chains, or anything else that could potentially ignite grass or timber. Authorities are treating the case of a teenage boy found dead over the weekend in Toppenish as a homicide. The Yakima County Sheriff's Office was dispatched just after 1.30 a.m. Sunday to a homicide on South Alder Street. Yakima County Coroner Jim Curtis says someone discovered the body in the area and the boy's injuries indicated he likely died from homicidal violence. Curtis says he's in communication with the forensic pathologist about the autopsy, which they hope to do today or tomorrow. A new stretch of US-12 in Walla Walla County is now open for drivers. This means drivers have a four-lane highway from the eastern outskirts of Walla Walla all the way to Nine Mile Hill, which is just west of Tushi. This does mean you'll have to exit the highway if you want to get to Tushi or Loudoun. 
It also shaves a few minutes off the drive between Walla Walla and Tri-Cities. Today, several Washington state agencies will mark National Secure Your Load Day. According to the Department of Ecology, unsecured loads result in 300 crashes and 30 injuries each year. The state patrol is conducting emphasis patrols for three weekends between June 9th and the 25th and stopping and citing drivers with cargo that's not properly secured. A troubling mystery for Washington and Oregon law enforcement after the deaths of six women in the region. Despite widespread online speculation suggesting a link between the deaths, Portland police said Sunday the facts don't support that. The deaths have ranged from February to last month, with women's bodies found in several Oregon counties and in Clark County in southwest Washington. All of the victims were under the age of 40. State Republican law legislators have boycotted sessions since May 3rd and claim they're fighting against, quote, unlawful hyperpartisan actions. Democrats hold a majority, but the GOP lawmakers' absence has prevented a quorum and has stalled talks about state issues, which include gun safety and re reproductive rights. Starting yesterday, the Oregon State Legislature will fine the no-show senators $325 every day they don't show up. Oregon's legislative session will end on June 25th. And making headlines around Washington State, a Seattle neighborhood now on edge after a threat prompted a school to switch to online instruction. After three shootings near Garfield High School in just the last month, parents say it has negatively impacted their children's education. They want more done about gun violence. Washington's attorney general says next steps include more mental health resources and bringing in more law enforcement around those schools. Washington law requires gun owners to keep their weapons stored safely where children can't get them. But how do you know if people are following that law? Between 2015 and 2022, an analysis for gun safety found there were at least 2,800 unintentional shootings in the U.S. by children aged 17 and younger. That's why the American Academy of Pediatrics says it's critical to not only store your own guns safely, but also to have a conversation on gun safety with other parents before a play date. A suspicious fire that burned a train trestle now under investigation as arson. The fire started Saturday afternoon on the railroad tracks near State Route 12 in Grace Harbor County in western Washington. The Grace Harbor County Sheriff Office says the tracks will need extensive repairs before train traffic can resume on that portion of the tracks. Folks, it's another hot Tuesday ahead. Good Monday, uh, Tuesday morning, everyone. Beautiful conditions out there. <laughs> we are looking to see even warmer temperatures today. Yesterday for our Monday, we were in right around the 9 degree mark. Today, we're going to be mid to uh, lower 90s. So current conditions, we're mostly in the 50s, a couple 60s in there. Still 49 in Ellensburg, but you're going to warm up quite nicely as well. So as we move along into tomorrow, we're going to see our warmest day of the week. So today, slightly warmer than yesterday. Uh, again, today, mid to lower 90s. Tomorrow, mid to upper 90s for many of our cities. But then we're going to slowly cool down into 85 by Friday. So a big drop from tomorrow into Friday. We'll stay there Saturday and then warm back up into our Sunday and our next work week. Also, we have a chance of seeing a little bit of shower activity starting Thursday afternoon into Friday morning. A little bit of shower activity would help out these dry conditions. Winds right now, pretty much 10 mile per hour to light. That's where they're going to be for the next couple of days. So as we look at our highs today, we're in those lower 90s for the Yakima Valley, 88 for Ellensburg in the mid Columbia, mid to lower 90s and over in the Blue Mountain region, mid to lower 90s. Get ready for a sunny, skies today should be a beautiful Tuesday. Jill. Thanks for joining us on Good Morning Northwest. The GMA is next. Cap KV Local News is back at five.